if you get red from drinking alcohol, then we have bad news for you. In this video, we review the latest research linking Asian glow and cancer. Hey guys, my name is Michael Kenny, and this is my brother Matt. We share tips on how you can stay healthy right at home. So if you're too busy to go to the doctor, don't worry, because we're coming to you. The alcohol flush reaction, or what we Asians like to refer to as Asian glow, is a pretty common problem in our society. Asian glow has always been a frustrating and inconvenient part of our social lives. But not many people know about the serious ties between Asian glow and cancers. Let's briefly review the science behind Asian glow. The first ever scientific publication to talk about Asian glow was actually done in Japan in 1981. And then it was found that Asian glow was linked to problems in alcohol metabolism. This means that somewhere in our Asian heritage, we developed a gene mutation that made it difficult for us to metabolize alcohol. So why is it called Asian glow? Well, obviously the glow refers to how red we get when we drink alcohol, but it's Asian glow because it mostly affects Asians. So according to studies in 2017, anywhere between 30 and 50% of people in Asia get the Asian glow. And then in Asian Americans, it's estimated at about 40%. So it's a really big problem. And take us for instance, we're Vietnamese. We both get the glow. Everybody in our family gets the glow. Except dad. Or, yeah, except dad. Yeah. <laughs> That's lucky man. So what does Asian glow feel like? Well, it's similar to an allergic reaction with really bad flushing. Yeah, for me, my face gets really swollen and puffy. I have this raging headache, and then like get these red spots that just pop up all over my body. Yeah, mine feels like I'm having a fever. I'm diaphoretic. I'm tachycardic. What? Let me put it this way. After a night of drinking, most people get a hangover the next morning. But for us, we get a hangover that very night. Okay guys, now let's get into some of the research we found linking Asian glow to esophageal cancer. In 2008, Lee et al. found that people with Asian glow have a 15-fold increased risk for esophageal cancer when they drink, compared with just a two-fold increased risk for someone without Asian glow when they drink. A more recent meta-analysis by Suo et al. in 2019 and by Harada et al. in 2017 both found positive associations between alcohol consumption Asian glow, and esophageal cancers. In 2009, the NIH came out and said that people with Asian glow are six to 10 times more likely to develop esophageal cancer if they drink alcohol. If you're unaware, the NIH is the National Institutes of Health. They're part of the US Department of Health and they are the largest biomedical research center in the world. If they announce this about Asian glow, then we shouldn't be messing around. Well, also in 2009, the International Agency of Research for Cancer came out and said the exact same thing. So we have the largest research center in the world and the largest cancer agency in the world, and they're both saying the same thing. If you have Asian glow, your risk for esophageal cancer is tremendously high. If you have Asian glow and you drink alcohol, you get a buildup of alcohol's byproduct, acid aldehyde, six times faster than usual. And on top of that, the concentration of acid aldehyde is 10 to 20 times higher in your saliva than it is in your blood. So if you can imagine, with years and years of drinking, you're constantly exposing your esophagus to acid aldehyde, and this is increasing your risk for cancer. So what's the point? Why are we nerding out about all this data? These research reports could be an early warning sign for something much bigger. All this data has been around for, well, like over 10 years now, but the sad part is that many studies, many recent studies, still show that people with Asian glow are unaware of this alcohol problem. For example, one study in China looked at 13 colleges and they found that only about 10% of the college students ever even heard of Asian glow. A lot of my non-Asian friends in medical school have also never heard of the alcohol flush. So we know that esophageal cancer used to be pretty uncommon. But today, esophageal cancer is the fastest growing cancer in the Western world. Combine that with the increasing amount of alcohol abuse in Asia and in America, where Asian glow is prevalent, and we could be heading towards another big cancer outbreak. Remember in the early 1900s when we didn't know that smoking caused lung cancer? Well, it took us almost half a century for us to figure that out. And by that time, the lung cancer epidemic had already killed millions of people. 
We gotta learn from history. We have to educate millennials and Asian glowers that heavy alcohol use could lead to an esophageal cancer epidemic. So now what? Do we expect you guys to stop drinking alcohol for the rest of your life? Well, if you can, that would be the best solution. But for the rest of us, the first thing we can do is to stop using Pepsid before you drink alcohol, because it can actually make the problem worse. Then what can you do instead? Check out this video right here on how to prevent Asian glow. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing to our channel. Also follow us on Instagram, follow us on Spotify. And if you wanna subscribe, it's completely free of charge. Just click on the red button below. Yeah. Click on the link up here if you wanna see our video on why you should not be taking Pepsi before you drink alcohol. And click on the link down here if you wanna see videos on reviews of our favorite Asian glow products.